So, can humans see forever? Can you really see light that has traveled 93 billion miles and is still traveling from something that is so vastly huge that its luminosity is allowing it to emit light that reaches your eyeballs today? Is that possible? You know, in reality and mathematics. No, no, it's not. So can you see forever? Can you see light at an infinite distance, no matter how far it's traveled, if it's bright enough and if a little enough of it reaches your eye? No, 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 you cannot see forever. Here's a few reasons why, right? Let's explain as if to a child. Imagine you're looking out at a world through a small round window. Window is like the pupil of your eye. The light from the things that you were looking at has to pass through the small opening to reach the back of your eye so that you can see it. When things are very far away, the light spreads out more before it reaches your eye. It's like shining a flashlight on a wall. The further away you hold the flashlight, the more light spreads out. For your eye to see something clearly, enough light from the object has to fit through your pupil. The further away something is, the more its light spreads out. So the less of its light makes it through the small opening of your pupil. At a certain distance, an object's light spreads out so much that it's that there's not enough of it that can fit through your eye for you to detect it at all. Right? This distance depends on how big the object is and how big your pupil is, according to mainstream science. Beyond that distance, the object seems to disappear. Even though it's still there in physical reality, your eye just cannot get it, gather enough of its light to see it. Or it has become unresolvable and beyond beyond your ability to resolve it. So it's beyond your angular resolution limit. It's the smallest angle at which your eye can still tell two points of light apart. Anything smaller than that blurs together and becomes invisible to you. So just to sum it up, we can't see forever because at great distances, the light from objects spreads out too much for your eyes to capture due to the physical limits of the size of your pupils and the nature of light. We don't need to get into the the way light travels and propagates and particles versus waves for any of this to make sense. We can just leave it as it is, right? This is why even on a clear day, you can't see infinitely far because your vision has a maximum range determined by math and physics of light and lenses. This should help explain why sunsets happen as well. If we go further into the math, we can say the inverse square law actually states that the intensity of light decreases proportionally to the square of the distance from the source. This just means that as light travels further away, it spreads out even larger and becomes less intense, less visible. Mathematically, it'd be like I equals S over 4 pi R squared, right? Where I would be the intensity of light at a given distance, S is the source strength, R is the distance from the source. As light travels, in this, and even in the heliocentric model, vast cosmic distances, its intensity decreases dramatically due to this spreading out effect. For example, at two units from the source, the intensity drops to one fourth of its original value. At three units, drops to one ninth of its original value. At 10 units, one hundredth of the original intensity. And this rapid decrease in intensity means that light from very distant objects, like faraway stars and so called galaxies, becomes extremely faint by the time it would reach Earth, right? In, in this case, it wouldn't even reach Earth. You wouldn't be able to see lights of a headlights of a car in a desert if you were in a desert looking out onto the flat horizon at nighttime and a car receded into the desert as far as it could until you could no longer see it it's still there on that flat desert road still driving right but you can no longer see its headlights its lights have gone far enough away for you for them to become unresolvable and you can no longer see its source or its light right that's what would happen in the heliocentric model, the expansion of the universe also causes light from distant objects to be redshift, potentially moving it out of the visible spectrum at all. You also have tons of interstellar dust and gas can absorb or scatter the light further as it travels through space further, making it uh, more dispersed and less easy to detect. So in reality, on Earth, right, the angular resolution limit of your eyes means that you can't distinguish extremely small objects or faint points of light. This does not stop being the case when you look up into the sky. It remains exactly the same no matter where you look, on the ground or into the sky. The inverse square law would mathematically dictate that from extremely distant sources, it becomes too faint for us to detect, effectively limiting how far we can see on Earth and in the sky. And that's it for today.